Good evening and welcome. Glad to have you along for this Tuesday edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter, Ali LaForce. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year scoring trend for DeJounte Murray. And one thing he's gotten better at as the years have gone on is scoring the ball, shouldering a bigger load of the offense, and being willing to accept the responsibility of a go-to option for this team. And before we tip off here, it's time to hear from our reporter. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. You could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. And two conference rivals facing off here. Grant, what were some of your fiercest rivalries at the NBA level? You know, when I was in Detroit, it had to be the Hawks and I think probably the Bulls. I think the Bulls were everybody's rival in the Eastern Conference back then. And then, of course, in Phoenix, we had some real battles with the Lakers. And to look at the starters for the Knicks, they've got DeJounte Murray. Emmanuel quickly is out there with R.J. Barrett. Then there's Mitchell Robinson, and it's Reddish in a shooting guard. And for the Nets, Durant the three with Griffin at the four. Seth Curry is out there with Kyrie Irving, and it's Aldridge in at the center position. It's Barrett on the wing. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Irving, the pass to Durant. Irving, a screen on Barrett. Here's Durant. Nifty move. And there it is for him. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Murray. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Right side, Robinson. Passed to quickly from downtown. And the Knicks, another three. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Irving against Murray. The drive by Irving. And the shot's good. Irving has the touch needed to do damage from just about anywhere, including from there. It's Barrett on the wing, defended by Griffin. Barrett passes to Robinson. Here's Reddish. Murray from outside. Kevin Durant pulls it in. One of the more improved players over the last few years. Murray has thrived in his high usage role. You just wonder how good can this kid become? He had his choice of finishing moves there, and you just gotta love the fact he went old school with the finger roll. Here's Murray. Following the bucket by the Nets. And the shot goes in. I'll tell you what, guys, you've got to be more aware of Murray there. When he's aggressive like that, he can cause problems. And it's really incredible the number of ways Murray can affect a game. I mean, I totally agree, B.A. I mean, he creates for himself and others. One of the best rebounders in the league at his position. And boy, is he disruptive on defense. 48 checked in for New York. Thirteen feet out. That's good from Durant on the assist by Griffin. Durant's gotten his second bucket of the game. Boy, that in-between game of Durant's is dead. Give him this shot, and you'll regret it. Murray can't get that one to fall. The Nets have gone four of six in the first quarter. Deflected, and they'll keep possession. Aldridge with the bucket. 
First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far to the middle. And Blake Griffin is going to pick up the foul. His first foul. That's his first foul. He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Andre Drummond has checked in for Brooklyn. Sins comes in for Griffin. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Irving. Jacks up a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Irving's gotten his third basket of the night. You know, the threat of Irving's drive can open up looks for him from the perimeter. And he is a gifted scorer. Last two minutes to play. First quarter. Barrett against Durant. Will it go? Rebounded by the Nets. Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly. But the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Harris comes in for Durant. And a switch here also for New York. Walker's checked in. The crossover. And it's laid in by Simmons. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offense. New York, no good that time either. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. The kick out to Fournier. Drills it from deep. Quite honestly, Fournier just has a, a good basketball IQ, a high basketball IQ, knowing even before he gets the pass that he's got time and space to shoot. Now here's Simmons. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Harris's shot is good. <laughs> I just love the ball move. New York trailing. Back to Walker. Pass to Fournier, lets it go from deep, and again, New York with the triple. Fournier saying, you sink one on us, I'm coming right back at you. Out to Harris, the three ball, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Harris has got six. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range, I love it. That's a terrific answer there. A splendid pass that time by Rose. Brooklyn's gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Rose against Curry. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Curry. When Seth Curry sees holes in the defense, he pounces on them. Pass to Toppin. From deep. Gets the three ball to go. I know it's early. But you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High-octane action for sure. Crowd-pleasing already. And so, lots of scoring in a competitive first quarter. Nets out in front, leading by three. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Man, you're Brooklyn. And always ready in the clutch. Kyrie Irving says he saves his best for the fourth uh, you know, For me, I just try to fill out the game. Think about plays that I could run in order to execute. That kind of I've been holding on to, you know, paying attention throughout the whole entire game where either it's attacking a big or attacking my man. You know, Irving, perhaps underrated as a tactician, Grant. Oh, yeah. It's a chess match indeed. One move, one play, sets up the next. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive? Oh, oh, what? Oh, wow. oh, my goodness. Come on, man. Well, that's a move Durant's had up his sleeve for a while. I mean, you've got to try to take that away. He's just waiting for the right moment to break it out on you, though. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. From the high post. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. 
Dejon Quickly's Murray. got his third bucket of the night. Boy, Murray's court vision, very sharp, and he's unselfish, too. You love seeing that combination. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, you want to talk about a super team. Last season, the Brooklyn Nets became the only team in NBA history to boast six players who made it all NBA over their career. Guys, the roster has changed just a bit, but make no mistake, this team remains loaded in a way we don't see too often. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Irving for three. And the Nets, another three. And a huge part of any NBA team success is health, especially as we move to the middle part of the schedule. Well, we know injuries are a part of the game, and they shape every NBA season. Unfortunately, they can end the team season at any moment. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in as many attempts. Well, you know, on some nights, Irving just unguardable, and that's when you just keep letting him do his thing. And the Nets making a change here. Aldridge has checked in. But we only give it a mouth to the loudest fans. You want one? Let's go! New York has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. All right, fans. That was your perfect Quickly outside. From outside the arc. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. And that one's good by Durant. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the play. Yeah, he's in his back from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. Drummond's checked in for Brooklyn. Waxton comes in for Griffin. Toppin, he's checked in for New York. Rose comes in for Fournier. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. And slam dunk by Simmons. Simmons. Slash ability of Simmons. Really creating havoc for the defense with his aggressive cutting mentality. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm and... He's really riding that wave right now. You know, last year against the Warriors, Murray had a 20-10-8 line. This is a guy who can do a lot of different things for you. First spur to do that since Tim Duncan in 2000 posted 20 10 and 8 line. For New York, they've gone 8 for 9 here in the second. For 3, Barrett. Brooklyn with the board. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside for Irving. 4-3. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And yet, despite his production, Murray still flies a little under the radar, Clark. Well, some of that is he's still relatively young in his career. He only played one year of college ball, B.A., and it also has to do with his consistency. He's a bit streaky as a shooter. And sometimes when the shot isn't there, he starts pressing a bit at both ends of the floor. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Nails it from beyond the arc. He is lighting them up from range this period. This team has made a concerted effort to get him shots. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Curry, he's checked in for Ben Simmons. Johnson, he's checked in for New York. Kimball Walker comes in for Murray. All right, look who's coming out to the court. Come on, get loud for your Brooklyn Nets. And let's check out which teams right. have been offensive juggernauts the past 10 games. New York, number Next one. Story, this man. team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. Fifty-nine seconds left in the first half, and Claxton gets the bucket. You know, as you add experience, you start to see the floor better. That was a sweet find by Drummond. 
Here's Toppin from the arc. And the Knicks, another three. three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. To the paint. Here's Drummond. And Drummond with the jam. Drummond. Thrown down with force. Drummond with great feel around the rim. Now, usually he's one of the leading dunkers in the NBA because he doesn't waste any time or motion in there. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone. No man's land. Giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. And the jam by Drummond. Drummond. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. 20 seconds left to play in the second quarter. The three, Durant. The basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. To the wing, right side. Quickly, outside. Three-pointer. Sinks it from distance. Quickly, he's got 27. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth, long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And the first half now in the books. Knicks out in front. They're up by six. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Coach, you battled back from that early deficit. What changed for this team? Well, we played better defense, and then we were able to get good shots, quality shots, but we had to play defense. I know you pride yourself on that area of the game. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Hey, folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for the New York Knicks. They've been knocking it down from three. You have to give the playmakers credit for consistently finding the open guy. And then, of course, the shooters have delivered. If they keep it up, they're going to be tough to beat. And we've got the playoff picture starting to come into focus now. So let's take a look at the Eastern Conference. A look here now at New York. They've been awesome so far this year. That was expected from the good analysts who know what they're talking about. We've got one on this panel, and it's called Shaq O'Neal. You don't know about the other two. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. This one, plenty of basketball left in the game. That's been a fairly even one. Emmanuel quickly with a strong contribution so far in this one. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. So on the floor for the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Murray in at the point guard. Here's Durant. And connects on the nine-footer. Durant's got 15. You know, he's a good guy to have running that particular set. I mean, Durant is not a guy who makes a lot of mistakes in the pick and roll. The ball's knocked loose. Brooklyn trailing. Griffin with it. And it's Robinson picking him up. And Aldridge with the basket on the assist by Curry. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Puts it up from the high post. That one rolls around and rims out. Brooklyn has gone 6 of 6 from downtown thus far. Well, you know, just like his brother, Seth Curry shoots with tremendous range and remarkable efficiency. And the old man wasn't too bad in those categories either. Old Dale could put it in the hole from deep with a high rate of efficiency too. Quickly from outside. Nails it from three. Quickly's got 30 points. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Hey, both Curry brothers averaging well over 40% from three. How about this, B.A. Seth 
has actually been a tick more accurate than Steph. And of course, their dad, Dale Curry, was a tremendous marksman in his own right. This is a talented fan, no doubt. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Brooklyn making some changes. Harris comes in for Durant, and Ben Simmons subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And a switch here also for New York. Fournier's checked in. Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for Ben Simmons. And for an idea of where his offense is right now, take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. Here's Curry. The rebound by Murray. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Back to Robinson. Murray against Curry. The three. Barrett. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got assist number five here tonight. Boy, you look at him. He's a quality floor general who knows exactly how to dish the ball to his teammates. Murray, nice job there running the offense. And that's a foul called on Evan Fournier. That's his first foul. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know, I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position. Those two are the ones that stick out the most. This is what Drummond is known for, fellas. I mean, assertive, aggressive, relentless, hardworking. He's just a dog at offensive rebound. Griffin outside. Yes, it's good. And now just a four-point Nick lead. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Fires from deep. And it's Barrett with the three. Barrett's got 15 points. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Last two minutes to play. Simmons against Murray. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. First in assist, second in blocks, and they came in third when it comes to opponent field goal percentage. These guys really work hard to protect the hoop and limit the open angles. And we've talked about the beautiful game before. When you think of that term, great ball movement, team chemistry, they both come to mind. And these guys exemplify both to a T with how many assists they rack up. And that one drops monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Outside Simmons. And there's the lob! Can't lay it in off the lob. The Knicks have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Fournier for 3. And again, New York with the triple. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time. Just like it's biting them now. We're giving t-shirts to the loudest Brooklyn making some changes. Claxton, he's checked in for Griffin. And Irving is subbed in for Curry. Your Brooklyn Nets. We've got 113 left in the third quarter of the game. Irving, that's good. Well, you Irving. simply can't guard that. Irving. Irving's just too nimble. Easily gets himself free of the defender. The Knicks have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Walker for three. Rebound Brooklyn. Drummond's got rebound number five here tonight. Walker against Simmons. Pass to Claxton. Takes it inside. Count it. Plays like that. So easy for him. So it's the Knicks now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Following this one, they get to host the Bulls. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And the foul called on R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul of the game. Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Down low. It's tipped. Here's Claxton. And he lays it up and in. 
Claxton. Claxton's got four points this quarter. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your Our perimeter team. guys, too. Three. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. Next foul, R.J. Barrett. That's his second personal, third team foul. Back the line, KD. And out the line, shooting two. And he makes the first. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scorers this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. And so he hits both. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Toppin hits the front of the rim and out. Beyond the arc. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. Defense is on Keldon Johnson. Keldon Johnson. That's his first personal. Fourth team foul. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. KD. At the line, one time. Free throw is good from Duran. And so it's the New York Knicks with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. They've been lights out from deep. And it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. Time for a... Man, you're perfect. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Durant the three with Griffin at the four. Kyrie Irving out there with Seth Curry. And it's Aldridge in at the five. So that's the next five. It would have been impossible for KD to miss his teammate there. He was wide open. That'll be a five-second call. Next ball. Shoots from the line, and again, it's Brooklyn. And, and they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. And that one's good, quickly. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Curry passes to Aldridge, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Aldridge is too strong to let a little bit of contact bother him. I actually think he likes those tough shots. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Irving finds Griffin. Irving a screen on quickly. Back to Irving. Takes the three. And the Nets, another three! The team does a nice job supporting what Kyrie Irving does. I mean, they've got total trust in his ability, so I think they work a lot harder to set him up. A shot by Johnson, no good. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. A shot that Griffin has worked on. Now you see how effective he is with it. Quickly from outside. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Pass to Irving. Hey, hangs in midair and converts the double clutch layup. Irving's got seven points here in the quarter. Kyrie, not a bad answer. He'll give you the needed hoop when you need it most. And that one's good. Quickly. You know, they're looking good, really good right now because of him. He sees this game by the throat, Time and he's squeezing it. hard. T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt. Come on, everybody. We got T-shirts for everybody. All right, 
He's coming out to the court. Come on. Get loud for your Brooklyn X. Barrett checked in for Johnson. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Steve Nash said to the team. He complimented the three-point shooting. He said, quote, it's one thing to get the look, it's another to bury it. I believe in you guys. I think you've got this game on lock. Let's go out there and let's take this. Guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. Knicks on D. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. No good off the back of the rim. Gets good position inside. May have rushed it just a little. Fournier for three. And again, New York with the triple. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. No stage too big for KD. If you need a basket, he's your man. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Quickly's got 44. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Yeah, come on now. And they're free. Two months left. Come on. Make some noise. All right. Look who's coming up to the court. Come on. Get loud for your Brooklyn X. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Murray passes to Fournier. This one for three. The next again from distance. All game long, the threes have been pouring in for him. There is nothing stopping his shot. And you know, this is already a game he'll never forget. He's trying to make it a game the world never forgets. And here's Griffin outside. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got assist number seven tonight. Quickly from outside. Good! Another from three. The parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties it for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. The shot, no good. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Durant, pass to Irving. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Irving's got nine points now in the quarter. Quickly, outside. Launches it. And again for three. And of course it falls for him. And that three pushing him into the record books. He is now tied for the most threes in a game. An incredible shooting night for him on a night we'll never forget. Durant's ability to score in a lot of different ways is huge. And he makes it look easy. Back to Murray. Quickly, right side. Launches a three. No good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Irving. It falls! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five! Tell you what, this is what Irving can do now. He'll link out and then make the right read in transition. The Knicks making a switch here. Rose is checked in. On the wing quickly. Doubled by Durant. And the Knicks miss again. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up a foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. This is what it's come down to. Yes, indeed. A monster possession. Irving with it. Now quickly defending. And here's Griffin outside. He connects! And he's brought them within two points now. You know what? Griffin's got him falling in right now. That's for sure. All right. He's coming up to the floor. And they go to the intentional foul. And he 
cannot get the first one to drop. A tough one to miss. So you look at the potential Murray has, and it's um, exciting, quite honestly. He's a um, lead guard. He plays the point, but he's more of a scorer than a distributor at this point. Here's Durant. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. And here's Curry for three. Count it! Oh! An enormous three-pointer! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Outside Barrett. That'll count if it goes! It's good! Thank it doesn't get any better. Phenomenal finish. He at the soon. horn. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess really, that's about the only way we could expect a game like this to close the curtain. And so it's the Knicks who come out on top here. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. Now our New Balance player of the game, Emmanuel Quickly.